What's going on, everybody? I'm Tyzilla83. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you would, at the end of the video, please slap a like, comment down below, share the video, and if you haven't already, tap the subscribe button. We're talking about E3 2016. I, just a heads up, I'm only going to be covering for right now Sony or, or Microsoft. This video is about the Microsoft. And then, obviously, I'll be doing Sony, the two heavyweights of E3 this year. Maybe later on in the week I'll try and bring in something else. Maybe I'll try and, and uh, bring in some of the other stuff or maybe an overall opinion of E3. I, I don't know, but you know, I don't have all the time in the world. But I'm going to try and bring you as much E3 content as humanly possible. Huge week, great week, a lot of fun. I got to sh live stream it with my boys, the Digital Fire Podcast guys, uh, my fellow Digital Fire Podcast peeps. Shout out to those guys. Huge shout out to those guys. Uh, links, if I can remember, and if I forget, remind me, but their links will be down below in the description box. Let's go, Xbox E3 2016. Let's talk about it. We know about the Xbox or the Microsoft crossplay and how Xbox games can now be played on PC. Uh, you know, I, interesting, right? Like, I, I, I you know, when, when that news first broke a little while back, I thought, man, I hope this E3 shows me something. It shows me a reason why I should buy an Xbox. What they did, which is really interesting, they showed us hardware. They showed us the Microsoft Xbox One S. Now, this thing is going to be upgraded. It's going to have the 4K. Um, it's, it's basically the, they're trying to match uh, what the PlayStation Neo does without going all the way, right? So it's slimmer. And that's the big draw to this too, I believe, is is the fact that it's quite a bit smaller than the Xbox One. You know, it's um, it's just slimmer, better. It's an upgraded version, I guess, sorta of the Xbox One. I'm still not completely clear on that, but it does look cool. And the price tag is what gets me two ninety nine. Really nice. Nothing to complain about there. Two ninety nine is a nice price tag. But again, like I said, for example, I am. Right now, effectively, and it's going to take me a long time, I am effectively building a PC. So I can basically play anything that's on Xbox One, on the Xbox One, on my PC. So even at that price of two ninety nine, I'm still it's still kind of a head scratcher for me as to whether or not or as to why they would do this. And then, speaking of the hardware, we're going to get Project Scorpio as well um, sometime in the near future, which is a new console, question mark? I'm not really sure. There are some some, some things out there about this. I, I don't know what Xbox is doing here. I will say, presentation-wise, overall, E3 was great. And I love that they actually started off with, oh, you've been hearing about some upgraded console stuff, huh? Well, boom, what do you think of this, Sony and PlayStation fanboys? Why don't you come over and check this out? And again, that 299 price tag for the S is extraordinary. Now, we don't know what's going on with Project Scorpio. We have no idea what the price is going to be, what, what everything else. Right now, I'm just taking everything as speculation. I think SoCom Butt put it best. Until we actually see this thing and, and can read a roll out of all the, the stats on, on both these machines, I'm just, I'm going to keep building my PC. I'm sorry. You know, if I'm going to be able to play the games on both these consoles, why would I even bother? Okay, so enough about the hardware. We got a lot of hardware stuff. I didn't go into the specifics. If I mess something up, I'm sorry. I'm sure someone will correct me down below in the comment box. Let's talk about the games. Well, there was really only one game that I, I, I saw that was up for sure. Yeah, if I, you know, when I do get my PC up and going, or if I were an Xbox One owner, the game that I saw that I wanted to see and I felt like we needed to see was the next Gears of War. And Gears of War, this looked to me like just awesome. You know, it it looked like it it looked like Gears of War. It looked like the franchise. It looked like the gameplay would be <laughs> from you know uh, similar to the you know the the rest of the Gears of War games, which I'm sure that they would never go far from you know the formula that made Gears of War one through three work so well. I never played Gears of War 2 or 3. I was a big fan of 1. I beat it repeatedly. I love that game. It's one of the few single-player mode uh, uh, shooters that I ever kept going back and beating. I played the multiplayer a little bit, not a whole lot. This looked phenomenal. You know, again, I know some people gripe that, that this was a less um, or a very underwhelming bit of footage. And I have to agree, yeah, maybe they turned the difficulty down here or they just chose the wrong level to showcase. I got to agree, though, this was kind of like... 
Ah, uh, cool. I mean, graphics look great. I would, I would love to have seen a lot more action from this game. Uh, sadly, that was about all we got. I think it was about six minutes of gameplay or something, or seven or eight. I don't know. You got a few minutes of gameplay there. I would like to have seen some faster action, some faster paced stuff, a little bit more excitement out of that. Next up is Sea of Thieves. I, sadly, we didn't get a whole lot here. I, you know, they, the presentation was stupid. I'm just going to say this. And I know here I am on Twitter, I'm glorifying Microsoft's presentation, like, wow, this is really good. And it was. I, it, the overall Microsoft presentation was great. But this game and Gears were a little underwhelming when you really, you know, when you, when you take the, uh, first reaction goggles off and you step back in hindsight and look back, uh, really, this, you know, the Gears was underwhelming. The um, some of the hardware stuff was a little underwhelming, I guess, maybe because in the back of my mind I'm thinking I'm not even gonna I'm not buying this because again I'm building a PC. And then there's Sea of Thieves, which was a stupid YouTube, uh, a few YouTube players pre-recorded, completely scripted scene of of these guys playing this game. I am so pumped for Sea of Thieves. Like I cannot play this. This was one of those titles last year. You know, along with Gears and, and even the new Halo at the time from last year, that I was really excited about, wow, this is why I'd want to own an Xbox One. Um, and sadly, to see if these, it looked kind of cool, but it just was, it was just one of those ones that just, meh, you know, eh, okay, cool. I would rather some authentic someone on stage playing the game and coming across other players. Now, I realize this is kind of like an MMO setting or a, maybe it's a shared universe setting, whatever, and that's probably hard to do on stage. But just something other than what they showed us, that was, oy, that was that was rough. I'm just going to say that was, that was kind of rough presentation. Overall, though, the Xbox presentation was, was great. In fact, I think that it was, I think it was better than last year's E3. Uh, and I don't really remember the year before that or, year the, or the year before that. But I think that what Xbox did here was they, they came out swinging with the hardware. They showed off gears. They showed off some of their indies. You know, they, they, you know, they gave us Sea of Thieves. You know, people have been really curious about this title. I think it's starting to gain momentum and maybe hopefully even a little bit more, even with that lackluster presentation with the YouTubers, I know I need to stop with that, but I just, I couldn't, ugh, I, I can't shake that. They could have done such a better job with that. Anything could have been so much better than what they gave us there. But, you know, Xbox did a really great job. Now that everything's kind of, now, now that the uh, hype feel is kind of gone after, you know, all the excitement has kind of subsided a little bit. Now that we've been able to just kind of sit back, we can look at things in hindsight. I would say that, the Xbox uh, E3 was great, or really, really good. I wouldn't say that it was an A. I'm not going to give it an A. Initially, I said that was a no and it was phenomenal. And I think up until that point, remember, before that, before Microsoft's E3, E3 2016 was just terrible. It was lame. We were looking for something. But I will say this. Again, it was better than last year's. You know, even with all the stuff that we got there. And there's a lot of stuff here that I didn't show you. I, I really urge that you, you go and check out, if you're an Xbox fan or, or Microsoft fan, to go check out their actual YouTube page. You can watch all their videos. There's a lot of stuff. You know, they talked about Forza. They talked about some of the other indie titles. Go check those out. Very much worth it. Um, I just had to cram as much as I could here in the stuff that really stood out to me in this video. But uh, so overall presentation was awesome. I mean, it really was. I would say a solid B. Like, I don't hand out high grades and scores real, like, you know, I'm not like IGN. I'm not going to just slap a 10 on it because it showed me a couple things that made me go woo and be like, oh, my God, that was the greatest E3 of all time. I'm not doing that. I'm going to say that, damn, it was fun. It was good. It was entertaining. The pacing was great. I love seeing Gears. I like seeing Sea of Thieves. I love that they talked about the hardware, even though I feel like, to me personally, I'm probably not going to be buying that, you know, not buying the, either of the consoles, even with that $2.99 price tag on the S. But it was cool for the fans. Awesome for the Microsoft fan guys. I didn't want to call you fanboys. I'm Tyzilla83. Thank you so much for sticking around, checking the video out. Like I said at the beginning, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And when I say try to be kind to one another, try like hell to be kind to one another. Please do it. Please try. 
all this stuff going on in Orlando, and I'm not trying to be a downer at the end of this video, but I mean it when I say it. Try to be kind. No matter your skin color, your religion, your, your sexual orientation, any of that stuff, who cares about that? Let's just be kind to one another. Game the hell on. I'm not saying go out and be PC, right? I'm just saying be cool to one another. Let's go game on. And again, thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, peace.